In 1880, one of the world's finest pottery talents attempted something truly different. Challenging his skill and his creativity, the renowned Robert Wallace Martin sculpted a remarkably unusual object entirely by hand. Today, this monumental crab lives in Plymouth, housed in the box, who intervened to prevent an overseas export with support from their funding partners. Measuring 48 centimeters wide by 45 centimeters long, this characterful human-faced crab is one of the largest and earliest known examples of sculptural Victorian pottery. It was made in an era of experimentation and ambition by the lead modeler of the Martin Brothers Studios in London, Robert Martin. The Martin Brothers swam against the tide of the Victorian industrial age. They rejected the competitive drive for mass production that was the basis of most pottery production. Embracing instead the arts and crafts ideals of the period, their small, family-run studio oversaw all aspects of ceramic production and sale. Each piece was made by hand, and the brothers excelled as both designers and makers. This ceramic masterpiece was made using a complex firing method from the medieval era called salt glazing. The method involves adding salt to the kiln during the firing process to create a pitted yet glossy surface that is unpredictable and difficult to control. The failure rate was high and the secrets of successful firings kept tightly controlled. Of the four Martin brothers, Wallace was the most experimental and was the driving force behind the studio's famous grotesque designs. This work of art stretches the boundaries not only of art and science, but also of nature and representation. Details, like the humped form of the shell, show us that Wallace must have been referencing actual crabs. But Wallace also captured an all-too-human expression that wavers between anxiety and joy. These keen observations of both the human and animal world are further confused with the addition of an impossibly long row of teeth and a goatee beard. The making of this piece coincides with big shifts in late 19th century thought. Study of the natural world was becoming more concerned with new theories of evolution. Anxiety about the quickly dissolving line between humans and animals was rising. This crab also evokes the Victorian fascination with giving animals human characteristics. It would not be out of place in the menagerie of Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, published 15 years before the crab was sculpted. Though the studio mostly produced functional wares, such as vases, clocks and tablewares, one-offs like this purely whimsical sculpture challenged the notion that pottery needed to be functional or beautiful.